While most of us think of genetic engineering as only applying to food crops such as corn and soy, if the biotech industry has its way, there will be a new GMO food to worry about, genetically engineered fish. Right now, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is considering approval of a GMO salmon, which would be the first ever genetically engineered animal approved for food consumption. The GE Atlantic salmon being considered was developed by Aquabounty Technologies and is genetically engineered to produce growth hormones year-round, creating a fish the company claims grows at twice the normal rate. This could allow factory fish farms to crowd the salmon into pens and still get high production rates. The FDA is trying to fast-track the approval of GE salmon, and without labeling. Why should we be concerned? For starters, GE fish pose serious risk to wild salmon and our marine environment. Each year, millions of farmed salmon escape from open water net pens, outcompeting wild populations for resources. To make matters worse, GE fish would cause genetic pollution. Studies show that the release of just 60 GE fish into a wild population of 60,000 would lead to the extinction of the wild fish in less than 40 fish generations. If the FDA opens this door, GE fish will be among the millions of farmed salmon that currently escape into the wild, which could be the last blow to wild salmon stocks and to the livelihoods of the men and women who depend on them. What makes the environmental consequences so severe with genetically engineered fish is both the rate of their reproduction, which is fast compared to other animals, and also their mobility. So once we were to release a genetically engineered striped bass or Atlantic salmon into a river system like this, even by accident, that terrible arithmetic of extinction would begin. And within a few generations, they would become extinct, and there's nothing we can do about it. We can't recall them. We can't somehow find them and get them out of them. The researchers can't. The corporations can't. It's over. That extinction, that terrible arithmetic will happen. In addition to environmental effects, the human health impacts of eating GE fish are completely unknown. But some research raises cause for alarm. GE fish may be susceptible to more diseases than other fish. Consequently, the amount of antibiotics given to transgenic fish may be higher than the amount currently given to farmed fish. Already, farmed salmon are given more antibiotics than any other livestock by weight, threatening the health of those who eat them and the continued efficacy of these antibiotics to treat human disease. Additionally, GE salmon are lower in omega-3 and omega-6 than wild salmon and have more of a potentially dangerous artificial growth hormone. And GE salmon are just the beginning. At least 35 species of GE fish are currently being developed around the world, including trout, tilapia, striped bass, and flounder. There's no doubt about the science with genetically engineered fish. The National Academy of Sciences, numerous peer-reviewed scientific studies have told us that these fish represent a tremendous danger to native fish species and to the environment. We know that. Uh, states know it. Many regulators know it. But the problem is the decisions on this technology are so often made by a very small group of regulators and business who often are exchanging kind of in a, a revolving doorway their the, the leading officials that we're not sure that that science is going to be respected. It is absolutely critical that states, that communities, that organizations, uh, that fishermen themselves get involved. Because what's at stake here is literally the survival of striped bass, Atlantic salmon, Pacific salmon, all of our trout species, our most treasured fish species. That's what's at risk. And that's what needs to be protected. And it's an urgent and dire potential situation that we're looking at. The Center for Food Safety has successfully stopped the approval of GE fish for the past 10 years through our legal actions, policy initiatives, and the support of our True Food Network activists. We need your help now to pressure the FDA not to approve these risky fish and to take legal action against the agency if necessary. Please make a donation to the Center for Food Safety today and help us protect our health, our environment, and our wild salmon from the hazards of genetically engineered fish.